Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have another plan with me for you today, and this is going to be a PP Weeks plan with me. I have actually mixed up my uh, print pression weeks set up a little bit, and I haven't done a flip for y'all. So before I get into this plan with me, I'm gonna do a quick little flip. This isn't um, a like big elaborate setup. This is my everyday carry, so it's pretty simple, but I still wanted to show you. So this is my new print pression cover. It is the Weeks Wide Snap and it is in the gray with the new pebbled faux leather and it's so, so pretty. Um, the one downfall to the snap is it the snap doesn't allow it to get very chunky and I've already been using my PP Weeks for quite a few months so it's already pretty chunky. So I was only able to put one insert in here when I was using my other cover with the elastic band, I was able to put two inserts. So that's the only downside, but it is okay. So, opening up here, the one insert I have in here is my uh, Lights Planner Action Grocery Shopping in, uh, insert. I literally take this with me every single Sunday when I go grocery shopping. I love, love, love this insert. And I have this vellum from Ribbon and Nib around this insert. Um, it's part of her planner collection and it's so pretty. I have a Co XOXO wide gold paper clip. And then this is actually a paper from Scribble Prints Co that I have around as well, just to give it a little bit of a um, nice white background. So that is the one insert I have in here. And like you can, you see there's another strap, but but when I put my second insert in here, I could barely close the um, snap. So, like I said, my PB Weeks is getting pretty chunky, but I just love this little planner. So I do have a print press and clear cover over the planner, and then this is a vinyl initial from Calligraphy by Lindsay. And then in my planner, I do have a clip here from Lily and Lola Co. It is her um, olive uh, suede bow clip. So that is all that I have in here. Um, I don't intend to use this as a wallet because I mean I carry my wallet with me, but this would be nice to put gift cards or something in. Um, so I might use this for that. Um, I intended to use this for a pen, but once again it won't snap closed, which is sad, but I can um, slide a pin in right here when this is snapped. I just slide in a pin right there. So it still works out. So that is it. Like I said, it's a very simple flip, um, but I love this little planner. So let's get to the plan with me. I am doing a week on four page spread this week. I really want to get back into using my habit tracker in here. Um, if you have not seen one of my PP Weeks plan with me's, this is really my health and daily planner. So I really want to incorporate my workouts in here as well as, um, you know, my health things, my sleep, my hydration, those sort of things. So the last few weeks I've only been doing a week on two page spreads, which doesn't give me a lot of room for habit tracking. So I'm back to a week on four page spread this week and excited about it. So I am going to be using this kit from Bodacious Prints. It is called Blessed. And this was one of her tiny kit releases, so each page was only a dollar, which is awesome. So I picked up a few pages. I have uh, these four full boxes, which are so perfect for fall, and these four. Then I picked up the page with the half boxes, quarter boxes, and flags, and then the bow headers. So she does have eight pages total in her tiny kits when she releases them, so I just picked up the four pages. And then I am going to use, um, this is also from Bodacious Prints in rose gold foil. These are her date covers, and this is her eggplant background, and then some washi strips. I use this in the other strips in a spread in my B6 rings, so I figured the colors look pretty perfect with this kit. And I will be pulling in a ton of other rose gold foil that I will show you as I go. So I am going to get started with the bottom washi, which I will obviously have to trim, but that will not be a big deal. And since I am doing a week on four page spread, I will have plenty of room for planning. Sometimes I don't put washi on the bottom of my PP Weeks because I need the room to put boxes and stuff when I only have this one section for a day. 
So I definitely like week on four page better. It just gives me more room. So let's see if this strip will fit across this side. I don't think it will. Will it be? Oh, it does. Okay, perfect. So we will leave that right there. And then for my date covers, so I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on the first half. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a next week section on the um, second pages. And I did pull some date dots to go on these as well. Rose gold foiled, of course. I typically, throughout the year, I don't use a ton of rose gold foil, but it just is so perfect for fall, I think. So I have been using more of that. So these foiled date dots are also from Bodacious Prints. And Monday is the 11th, yes. I am going to do the bow headers across each day. I really want to use this like olive color. I think it's such a pretty color. I will only be using two sets of bow headers, so I think I'll probably hmm, maybe use these two and save these since I'm already using so much of that uh, wine eggplant color. I think I will do that. Alrighty, and then for my checklist, I pulled some foiled checklist from Wild Summer Designs, and these are three heart checklists. So, let's see. I think how I'm going to use my full boxes this week is to break up my day. So I'm gonna do them maybe a little bit further down. So if I have any work events or work calls, they'll go above this box. But I kinda need to decide about my checklist first, don't I? Do I want to have more than three? I think I'm gonna leave it at three so they can be like the top three things every day that I need to focus on for work. And then if there's other things that come up, I can put them, put a flag or a quarter box or something on here to do. So like I was saying, I'm going to do everything during work above these full boxes and then anything after work below, which will include my workouts. So I mean, it doesn't leave me a ton of space up here. Like if I have a meeting, then that's going to fill in that space, but I can always put it below. It's not like it has to be above or below, depending on what time it happens. I'm also not being very strategic with my full box placement, which is not typical of me. I usually put a lot of thought into my full box placement, but they're all just really pretty, so I figure why not just disperse them randomly, and I am doing a bow header above each box, which probably is not necessary, but like I said, I have them and I want to use them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a half box every day, and I'm gonna alternate between the half boxes that come with the kit, which are just four, and then I pulled these foiled half boxes from Art Box stickers in rose gold. So I'm gonna alternate foil and non-foil boxes because I want to have a box every day. Um, not that color. For just a movement of some kind, even if it's not like a full-on workout, which I really need to start incorporating this week, um, if it's just walking my dogs, you know, just some kind of movement. I want every single day and I want, I'm putting a box down every day to make it, you know, I'm gonna have to write in there that I didn't do it. <laughs> and then post on Instagram. So I need to do something is what I'm saying. Also to even make that more like evident, I pulled these workout scripts from Bodacious Prints. So I'm actually going to put a workout sticker down so that I'm like, that is what this box is for. I can't just write, oh, I took a nap because you know, sometimes I'll put a box down and I hadn't worked out and so I'll just fill in what I did do. But no, this is going to need to be a workout or I'm going to have to, 
use a canceled sticker or something. So, put those workout scripts every day. I really like that. And hopefully it'll help me be a little more accountable. We shall see. Fingers crossed. So, now for the day-to-day, -day, let's see what I want to include. Monday, I do have, well first, Monday is Veterans Day. And I definitely want to mark that. So I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do a flag at the bottom of the day because I don't have anything else going on this night. So I want to mark Veterans Day here. So I did a flag and then I pulled this rose gold foiled Veterans Day holiday sticker from Sheep Blossom Prints. So definitely it deserves to be noted there. And then I have some work calls. So I think I'll do a quarter box. Here. And I'll write my work calls right there. All right, so that is it for Monday. So moving on to Tuesday. Tuesday, my husband and I have a basketball game we are attending. attending. So I am going to do another flag and then I'll just write in our basketball game. That's what's going on that evening. And then Tuesday, I do have some calls, which I mean, that's pretty normal. I have calls most day. It's just typical of my position. So it may just be that I have a quarter box every day. So moving on to Wednesday. Wednesday, I actually don't have any um, work calls. So we shall see what I end up putting in here and maybe some other to do's or just the big thing that I do. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to put a quarter box there for now, but Wednesday night I am having a girls night. So I do want, I think I'm going to do a foiled quarter box for that. I pulled, um, this is my old planner from Bodacious Prints and I pulled a quarter box from that because I am having a girls night. So I'm going to do that right there, and then moving on to Thursday. Thursday, again, I don't have any work calls. You know, I just said that and jinxed myself. So I'll figure out as the week goes on what to put in that space. And then Thursday, I want to mark that it's two of my best friend's birthdays. So I'm going to do this bow divider, and then I'll just write their birthdays underneath it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that is it. For the first half of the week, I think this is looking really pretty and I really love how structured it is. Sometimes I just want that. So the second half is going to be structured a little bit differently because I'm going to do my habit tracker. And then for my habit tracker, I pulled um, this from Little Pity Paper. This is actually her mini size. I had been using her large sizes, which fit all the way across. But the mini size is nice because it actually will cover just three boxes. And then I'll have a full section here, which pretty much just allows me to use an extra full box is all that that is. But I do have to figure out where I'm going to cut I think it's going to be after Wednesday with the large ones I actually cut before Wednesday. So let's see how this works. This is the first time I'm using the mini habit trackers. So we will see. All right, so that oh, oh, fit nicely until I crumbled it. Let's see how I can fix this. Another reason I love the PP Weeks is you can pull stickers up so easily. The paper is just so nice. Okay, let's straighten that. There we go, much better. So that's Sunday, and then Thursday through Saturday. I kind of want to move it over just a tad so that this really does. Yes. Oh, but, okay guys, I'm gonna get this together. I am. There we go. So that just takes up Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So 
What that means is I'm going to have to now figure out which full box I'm not going to use, which probably I should have thought about in the first half of the week when I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. I love them all. I love them all, but I'm not going to get to use them all. <laughs> so it is okay. I'll figure it out. So let's go through and do everything we did in the first half of the week. I'll probably speed you through this because it's just going to be more of the same. All right, so let's see. I might actually have room. I don't have any plans Friday night, and I have a ton of work calls Friday. Three work calls, so I think those might just go here. Well, let's do, let's do a quarter box there. And then if I do a half box on the bottom for my movement of some sort, I might be able to trim down one of the full boxes to go here. And of course, none of them really lend themselves to being trimmed. Maybe the bag? Yeah, let's do that. So let's put that there and then get my ruler. And I think that's, oh yeah, that won't look too bad trimming that off. That was not a very straight trim. I might want to fix that. Even with a ruler, I somehow managed to not be able to cut straight. All right, let's see if that did it. Yes, okay, much, much better. Okay, so that was Friday. Moving on to Saturday. Obviously, Saturday I don't have any work things because it's Saturday. Oh, I just realized I did not put... A bow header. I think I'm gonna leave that there and I might do like another divider or something and I'm just gonna do my three work calls. So Saturday I am going to do a quarter box here and that is going to be for a football game that my husband and I will be watching. We usually go to a brewery to watch that and then I'll do a bow header and then a full box. But then I don't get a half box for any type of movement. Is that okay? Or would I rather not do a full box? Because I want to put some type of movement every day. Oh, decisions, decisions. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is not do a full box here and just omit one full box. I don't know what else I'm going to put on Saturday, but I'm going to do another foiled half box from Artbox Stickers. And then I'll just kind of fill in the rest of Saturday as things happen? Is that what I want to do? That looks very odd. Don't love that. Okay, let's let's move on. I feel like I am I'm struggling with this layout. So moving on to Sunday. Sunday I work at my husband's restaurant, so I'm gonna do a quarter box for that. And then I feel like I'm in the same situation. I want to do a half box for my movement of some sort. And then I just have the awkward space. So I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and do this full box here. I'm going to go ahead and put my workout scripts here, here, and in this box, there, perfect.
perfect. I do still love how that looks. I think I'm going to do this foiled quarter box right here and then I'm going to write in next week and then I'm going to put seven hearts um, from Wild Summer Designs. Alright, so that's seven. So that's for Monday through Friday of the next week. And then I want to do this full box, my last bow header of this color. I was going to do my last strip of washi as well. That just seems too dark. Yeah, I want to do this one. So I want to have some of this washi. So I think I'm going to do it in this awkward space on Saturday. So I have some on this page and that finishes off that. And then, let's see, I need something here. I think I'll do a bow, I mean a flag here. And I'll put some type of to-do. I have one more flag, but I don't think have room for it. Actually, I think I'm going to move this bow divider here and put this flag here and I'll write the birthdays like that just beside that flag. So I'm going to do that there. That's for my friend's birthdays and then I'm going to do the bow divider. I mean the heart divider down here just to fill in that awkward space. Yes, okay. So that fills in those awkward spaces that I did not love. Um, I still have like a little bit of space there, but I don't feel like it's as bad as that side was. And I like that washi right there. Yeah, I think that works out. Um, so there's just one full box that I wasn't able to use, and I'll probably pull this into like a daily or something in the future. I'll hold on to it. I did finish that entire sheet of half boxes, quarter boxes, and flags, and then I'll hold on to those bow headers to use sometime in the future as well. So I feel like this was a little bit of a hot mess. I have not filmed one of these for y'all in a little while, and... I haven't done a week on two page in a little while, so I feel like I was a little rusty, but I think this is going to be really functional for me. I'm going to have some of my health items I want to focus on here in this habit tracker. I am sure I mentioned it, but this habit tracker is from Little Pity Paper, and I absolutely love it. Also, I have coupon codes for most of the shops that I use, so check the description if you would like to save on any of these items. I really do think this is going to be functional for me this week, and I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm sorry if I was all over the place. Um, I'm going to be doing these more, and I'm going to really uh, work on my how I want my layout to work functionally for me. But I'm excited for this. I think this is going to work. And I think that size kit that I have was actually absolutely perfect. I don't have very many leftovers at all. If you want to see updates of this spread throughout the week, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Girl Plans. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment below and let me know if you have a health planner and how you use it functionally. I'm always looking for ways to improve. And if you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do try and upload two to three videos per week. I really hope y'all enjoyed. I appreciate you watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!